Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. Hi everybody, it's your girl LK Sims and today I am back with another video but it is not another video of my current LP out on my channel. Today I wanted to do a mod review of my favorite CC custom content food related mods and the things that I have in my game that majority, every, well not majority, every single one of my Sims used to cook with. I do want to go ahead and apologize for any mic settings or how this may sound because I did, um, I still am new to YouTube and I am new to recording. I just bought me a new Yeti microphone, so I am working out all the kinks and the settings over that. So like I said, just bear with me. Every video I will get a little bit better. But um, I think I have five, I'm not even going to quote y'all, but let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. Um, the first person that I do have here to show y'all, I have a couple of their things set up right here on the counter, is Somic and Severinka. They do have a Patreon, and they do release their content after a couple of weeks. So, major I think all of the things that I show y'all on this channel right here are free at this moment because they have been out for a while. Right here on the counter, we do have a drink tray that spawns drinks. It spawns in-game drinks and custom drinks made by Somic and Severinka. You can serve tea, base game alcohol, coffee, bubble tea, anything like that. Orange juice, if you're cooking breakfast, milk, water, sparkling water, anything like that. Somic and Severinka also makes their own beverages. So you can um, spawn anything from champagne, margarita, eggnog, beer, um, Hennessy, Jack Daniels, all of that. So right here, six cups of Hennessy just spawned up on, on the drink tray. And you can sit it out. Um, MP players will come and grab one on their own if they want one. You can tell your girl to get up and drink one. And with that, it's just it makes so much it makes everything so much easier. You don't constantly have to go to the bar and keep making drinks. And as you can see here, she drank the Hennessy and it came up with a buff. This legendary drink is drunk by the Real Cream of Society. It gave her um a confident buff. Yes, your um if you have the base mental mod in, your Sims will get intoxicated from this. They'll get tipsy, they'll get drunk, and if you keep drinking, they will then get wasted. You can also make coffee if you're doing like a little LP where your girl's at the office and maybe she's an assistant to someone and they're like, "Uh, go make some coffee this and this and that." It gets rid of the clunky coffee pot to me. I feel like this is prettier. I feel like it's more aesthetically pleasing. So I like that. And then with the new Growing Together pack, um, not yeah, the new Growing Together pack, you can have sleepovers where you can invite other kids over to your house for sleepovers. So I feel like that's nice if you're making them a little snack, cooking them dinner or anything like that. You could click on the tray and you could spawn milk and like if you're making breakfast, orange juice, water, or you could even go the extra mile and spawn the kiddos some bubble tea from the high school years pack. So I really enjoy that. It just cuts out a lot of tedious actions. The Sims doing the most, routing issues, anything like that. You have a party, you don't have to waste money on a bartender. You could just click on the tray, spawn whatever you want, and refill it when everything gets empty. So that's a plus. Right here we have one of the boba teas that I was telling you about. You can't beat it. You really can't beat it. So the next thing that I have to show y'all is the Somic and Severinka Kitchen Cookbook. And from here, you can buy alcohol. This is what I was telling you about. You see they have martini, wine, champagne. They have the beer. And you can also buy the bottles of Hennessy and Jack Daniels from there as well. So right here, I told my girl, I think this is Sage. Yeah, I told Sage to grab a bottle of martini out the refrigerator. There you go. You can call everybody to grab a drink. You can pour yourself a drink. But, um... Look at it. It even comes in a little martini glass. I love that. I did click X and had her cancel out of that because my girl was drinking while I was trying to film this episode. And by this point, she was wasted. She couldn't get her life together. Right here in the cookbook, you have different things to choose from. I'm going to tell Sage to um, make this meat and cheese platter. It's like a little charcuterie board. So appetizer, you're having a little get together. Baby shower. Um, a little grazing table at a wedding anything like that you have your appetizer right here they have recipes all the way from um different kind of soups they have sushi they have um this little toasting i can't even tell you all it's it's too many to even name i was trying to do my best and make this a really quick video because i did not want to bore y'all with everything going on 
As y'all can see, what just popped up on the screen, it says delivery S and S. Samek and Severinka makes a healthy delivery system where it is anti-calorie. It's actually negative calories, so it'll help your Sims lose weight. I really like this for gameplay options because say you have one healthy Sim and they have to cook food for the rest of their family. They might not want to eat healthy. So you can sign up for the SNS delivery. They have single items that you can um, order or you can do it Monday through Sunday through Saturday, however you feel like counting your days. But each box comes with breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. While we're waiting for that box to get delivered, we're going to show you up another mod by Sonic and Severinka. This is the warm up the bottle mod for your toddlers. It comes with milk, formula, three different type of teas, chamomile, fennel, and rosehip. And you can also get a bottle of water for free. I really like this because once you click on what type of bottle you would like, the bottle pops up in the bottle, the bottle warmer. You can see the sensor on the bottle warmer moving. And it actually makes the bottle and warms it up for you. As you know, Pandasama just came out with a new update to the Realistic Pregnancy Mod where you could pump your breast milk. So I thought this was a really cool, um, maybe I guess you could say add-on. I'm not going to say add-on, but it gives you something for the toddlers or just makes your gameplay more realistic. So we're going to pour the bottle out right there. I made the chamomile tea and it's of course you can see it comes in that cute little bottle. The delivery has, ri uh, has arrived from the S&S Healthy Delivery. We opened up the Thursday first, and as you can see, she has a raspberry smoothie right here. That's going to be breakfast, and then you have three meals. We have a Greek salad for lunch. Um, I think it was an omelet for breakfast, and then you had the, I wanted to say it was the oven, oven, the grilled tilapia, and steamed vegetables. Um, when they drink the smoothie, the top actually pops off, so look, it looks all clean, aesthetically pleasing. When you tell them to drink it, the top does pop off. Look at the little omelet quiche looking thing, y'all. Look how realistic that looks. You cannot find any base game food that gives you these type of realistic vibes. We opened up the other box and I think, let's see, it was Thursday in game. So we opened up the Thursday and Friday box. She got another smoothie for breakfast. She got two different um, soups and she also got another meal for um, another meal for dinner. I don't know what really would be for breakfast right here because me personally, I don't eat soup for breakfast. But hey, maybe you can mix and match on the days when you get it. I don't really know. But look at the zoom up of that. Like, that just does something to me. The top pops off. Like, look at that. If you And then if they don't eat it for that day, you just clean it up and put it right back into the refrigerator. All right, you guys. Next on our list of mods, we have this mod waffle maker right here. And this is by Balconica. Um, that's how I heard it pronounced before. Um, I think you get eight different type of waffles that you can make here. I see bacon waffles with poached eggs. You got banana waffles, pumpkin waffles. But I'm going to have my girl make the raspberry and white chocolate waffles. The only downside about this mod is that you can't make different servings. So if you want to make waffles for your family, you have to constantly, like you have to do it a couple of times. It's not really group meal friendly. So like say if one of your sims is a stay-at-home mom and she wants to make wake up and make breakfast for the kids before they go to school in the morning you have to do it constantly and you have to hurry up and click off of this because i have the mod where they don't automatically grab a plate to eat after they get done cooking but that does not apply to this one for some reason they will start eating the, the waffles as soon as they come out so you just really have to be um cautious of that and make sure that you constantly click off of it every plate that they make of waffles Next, we have uh, this crepe maker. It says make pancakes, but this is by the Pied Piper, and it is the same way as the waffle maker. We have several different types of crepes. You have crepe with apple jam, blackberry, pomegranate, pear, feta cheese, honey, and it is really nice. The only downside other than the single servings is how big it is and how much counter space it takes up. Uh, you can usually shrink stuff down, but I feel like that wouldn't work for this because it would be disproportionate. Maybe you could build a shelf up top to like sit it on and just pull it down when you're ready to use it unless you can see it as an everyday thing in your game. But other than that, I don't see it going like that. All right, you guys. Next up, we have Insemnia. When I took a deep dive into custom content, 
related to food. Insemnia was the first person that I ran into. I am in love with Insemnia. Everything that y'all see, see sitting on this counter is edible. Down to the candy, the jello, the cookies, the eggos, the water, the Starbucks frappuccinos, the chips, the Oreos, the noodles. Everything, period, point blank, you see on this counter is edible. And Simnia is also known for making like um, realistic restaurant fruit food down to Buffalo Wild Wings, Chick-fil-A, ooh, I want to say Steak and Shake, Subway, Olive Garden, Red Lobster. We'll get into all that later. But like I said, everything that you see on this counter is edible. Like say you have kids, they need a snack when they come home and they're like, boom, I want an Uncrustable. All you have to do is tell your Sims to open up that box of Uncrustables 10 of them are going to pop out. So here Sage goes. She's going to open the box of Uncrustables. They pop up in your Sims inventory. So you tell them to eat an Uncrustable. Or once you open them, you're like, hey, I got nine Uncrustables left. What am I going to do with the rest of them? Well, you're simply just going to open the refrigerator and put the rest of the Uncrustables in there. They're good. They won't go bad. You can tell your kids to get one every day when they come home from school. And you don't have to worry about it. The next thing that I'm going to show you you see that um, Stouffer's lasagna back there? Yeah, that's edible too. What you're going to do is you have to put the Stouffer's lasagna in your inventory. And then what you're going to do, you're going to come over and click on this little note. You're going to click on this notepad. And what you're going to do, um, you're going to click on frozen meals. Like I said, you do have to have everything in your inventory. If it's a Hot Pocket, Eggos, frozen pizza, any of that, you put it in your inventory. You're going to go to the list then it will be highlighted saying that you could cook it she's going to come over here she's going to get it grab it out the freezer and then she's going to start making it they don't really have to do that to that much to it they just pour it in another pan they season it up a little bit and they put it in the oven and i don't know about y'all but i just can't eat a frozen meal straight out the box i do a little something something to it so period if you ain't seasoning your frozen dinners i don't trust you but I do like this because it can go with a storyline. Okay, mom just got off of work. She's tired. She doesn't feel like cooking. I know it might not take that long in sim time to cook, but 30 minutes in sim times, you don't, in real life, you can't cook some fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, cornbread, collard greens, and all of that. So just to make the game a little bit more realistic, mom just got off of work. She's tired, and what she's going to do is throw this um, frozen meal into the oven. I love that. I like realism about my game. It just gives it something. It just gives it a better feel. I don't care what anybody else says, but one thing I wish the Sims would do is enable multitasking because the day you could throw this frozen meal in the oven for the 45 Sim minutes and they don't have to stand there would be amazing. Look at that. Check that out. It looks like a real deal frozen meal straight out of the oven. You cannot beat that. When I tell y'all I feel like I am working my lungs today because I am talking so fast trying to fit all of this into this video. Whew. The next thing I'm going to show you that has to do with Insemnia is Insemnia Eats. This is basically like DoorDash or Uber Eats where you can order all of the food that he has created from his restaurants. You could do Popeyes, Chipotle, Krispy Kreme, Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, Insomnia Cookies, Jamba Juice, Bojangles, Olive Garden, McDonald's, Red Lobster, and the list goes on. All you have to do is go to your phone and choose which restaurant that you want. Um, to go along with these restaurants, uh, I want to say Beans Builds has made a restaurant to go hand in hand with most of the things that Insemnia has made. I know I have an Olive Garden, a Red Lobster, a Starbucks, different type of restaurants like that. So there are restaurants out there that go hand in hand so you can actually have your Sims go down and enjoy this food. I even have a Subway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you Olive Garden. Um, that's one of my most favorite ones. That's one of my most favorite restaurants in real life. So check this food out, y'all. Check the food out. Let's give it a moment of silence. Look at it. We got a raspberry lemonade. We have the five cheese ziti. We have the Zupa Toscana soup. In the middle, I believe that's the shrimp alfredo. We have the classic lasagna. We have the chicken parmesan, shrimp alfredo. Period. Hands down, Insemnia eight. Eight. But on that note, we're going to show you another one of my favorite creators. And boom, here we are with Daya. And today we are going over QMBB. QMBB came into the CC Food Mod Gaming eight. When I say she ate, she ate. 
Today we're going to go over a couple of her mods and the first thing we're going to do is go over the Stirring the Pot cookbook. There is two versions of this cookbook. You can get the Stirring the Pot, the actual cookbook where you can sit it on your counter or you have the kitchen tablet. The kitchen tablet is um, it's like a little tablet sitting next to the counter. It has different things in it, uh, but we're going to hit the All Recipes button. Now look what pops up. You have breakfast, baked goods, gourmet, international food, soul food, and quick snack. There is like, whew, y'all. You can make hot wings, nachos. Like this is just basically hitting the service surface because you really have to dive into all her recipes. Look, scrambled eggs and toast, sausage and butter grits, huevos for rancheros, smoked sausage and hash browns, fried chicken and waffles, and Cajun salmon and cheesy bacon grits. You cannot beat her recipes. When have you ever seen anything like this in The Sims where you can make this kind of food? No, they give us goopy carbonara and chili con carne and golden eggs and bacon and toast and stuff like that. Look at that. Name one time you done made fried chicken in The Sims. Name one time you have made spinach and artichoke dip with homemade pita chips in The Sims. And then look at this. Check the salmon and grits out. There has never been a time that you can make a homemade soul food Sunday dinner or a gourmet brunch style fancy going to chop it up with my friends mimosa type of brunch. With QMBB's mod, I can make fried chicken, scalloped potatoes, mashed scalloped potatoes, cornbread, greens, mac and cheese, all of that for dinner. I can legit now have a Sunday soul food dinner inside of my game. Thanks to my girl or my guy, Q and BB. I love it. You can't get past it. Now, also on the kitchen tablet, you have a, um, a button that says order groceries. And she does have like a grocery system override. I don't have that in my game, so I really can't demonstrate it for you. Because I don't like getting in the mix of um, adding new grocery things to my system. I just stay with base game and put it on simple living. And that's how I get down with like having to order groceries and stuff. I just leave it to the base game. And she also has Grubhub. I don't have any of these in my game as well, so I do apologize. Me personally, I didn't want to put them in there because I already have a lot of overrides from other creators for food stalls and delivery systems. So I didn't want to add another one in my game with 30 gigabytes of storage. But she has things like Dunkin' Donuts, Panera Bread, Asian Express, Baskin Robbins. And I do know that there is a Baskin Robbins build out. I cannot remember if it's by, I think it's by Sierra the Simmer, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. Just type it in Google and it will pop up. And I think she even, ha she even has it linked on her page with the Baskin Robbins recipes. The next thing by Q and BB is the Artesian Pizza Maker. As you can see, you can sit it see it over there on the counter. And you make you can make gourmet pizzas. It's not the regular pepperoni, sausage, anything like that. You can make pizza margarita, lemon pesto parmesan pizza, red pepper, spinach, and burrata pizza. So this adds a lot of um, variety. That's the word I was looking for. This mod adds a lot of variety into your game. So this would be really cool to like put down a pizza shop and add these recipes to the pizza shop. Have your high schoolers hanging out after school and they're going to get some pizza. It's kind of giving me like mellow mushroom vibes. I did turn my headline effects on so we could see what we have here. We got a roasted tomato, roasted tomato and burrata. Uh, that one was pancetta and the first one was like a roasted eggplant or something like that. This even adds enough variety like if your sim wants to own a pizza restaurant and they want to serve gourmet pizzas this gives you another gameplay thing as well the next mod we have from qmbb is this salad mod it comes with this brown salad bowl that you can sit on your cab your counter and you can make seven different type of salads from shrimp salad potato salad shrimp salad potato salad uh chopped salmon salad we have a strawberry salad over there and i'm not sure if i said it but macaroni salad as well i have a couple of them sitting here on the counter and i have diet whip one up for y'all too i also love how q and bb overrides the ingredients that go on her cutting board to sh be a part of what she's actually making like you saw the potatoes and the green onion and the celery for the actual potato salad that she was making it makes it more realistic like there's no reason that i should be cooking with something that ain't got nothing to do with what i'm cooking 
and oh y'all it's like when she makes other stuff like you can actually see the Lowry seasoning salt and the garlic powder and stuff like that in her hand here we're just on the soul food menu and I'm showing you a couple other things that you can make black eyed peas fried cabbage y'all it's just hands down an amazing ass mod because without her we wouldn't have this food inside of our game here we uh, are up with another QMBB banger, which is the sandwich maker. It gives you this nice little sandwich box, little bread box that you put on your counter, and you can make sandwiches from it. I feel like this will be a good one for pack and sack lunches for kids to go to school, um, house mom, housewife, making your husband a lunch for work, even if it's your off day, or um, picnics in the park with kids. Y'all are having a family day at the park. But right here on the counter, I have some already made. So while she's making y'all another one, let's go over these. We have a chicken bacon ranch sandwich. They do come with eight servings in all, which I said you can make single servings or family servings. We have a chicken pesto sandwich. And then I think this one right here, yeah, that's the turkey club sandwich. Again, as you see her cutting up the chopping board and all of that, it's only ingredients that have to do with what she's making. Like she made a chicken bacon pesto sandwich and you saw on the cutting board she was chopping up chicken and all of that. I just can't get over the graphics. And you see that she did an override to the plates and everything that goes in as well. So again, that is the sandwich maker by my girl Q and BB. As you see, the next one we have on the wall, this is the struggle pot collection. All of these meals are under $15 and I feel like this is a good storyline if you have a family that are pinching pennies rag the riches anything like that you have fried bologna sandwiches corn dogs uh craft mac and cheese ramen noodles and i have a couple of those things right here on the counter waiting for you um you can see the chili dogs um the craft mac and cheese i think that's ramen with hot dogs in it y'all who yeah right ramen spaghetti and hot dogs i don't know who would ever make that that's chicken rice cerrone and she just got done with the fried bologna sandwiches look at it the hot dogs, you still got chili and cheese on the top with a little bit of onions. The rice aroni looks just like rice aroni. The fried bologna sandwiches. I don't, I don't know about that spaghetti, y'all. I don't, I don't know about that hot dog. Ah, mm -hmm. where that came from. <laughs> but there's also a couple other things on there. I think there was one that was like milk and cornbread. And um, what were they? Am I going to go click on them? Let's see. Yeah. We had cornbread and milk, top ramen, cream of wheat. Cheesy ham, scramble and toast, rice and beef gravy, and then like rice and something. Here we are with our last creator of the video. This is Oni. He is on Patreon, and this is Oni's recipe pack. Oni is known for making a uh, cultural food that I have not seen, that I personally have not seen any other creator dive into it like this. The first thing that I'm going to show you is the Zoomers Delivery Plus, and this is where he has a couple of it not me uh skipping on repeat he has a couple of different restaurants that you can order from you have the korean fried chicken you have the like the little titiboki i don't know if that's how you say how you say it you have a sushi restaurant the korean corn dogs and these are the ones that i'm going to order i could have showed y'all something better because basically all of the corn dogs look the same on the outside except two of them and that's the one that's covered in potatoes and then there's like a black bean one or something like that these are the corn dogs that you see people eating on like YouTube shorts and TikTok where they bite into it. And it has the crazy cheese pull. Uh, that's the black corn dog with cheddar. But I could have showed y'all something better. I wasn't thinking. But right here, we're going to give you a quick zoom in. And I like how you can see like the one that has the fried potatoes on the outside. You can see like the little squares where the fried potatoes would be. And then it has the little drizzle of ketchup. But other than that, the other restaurants sell fried chicken, burgers, um and uh the sushi restaurant all right to cook on these foods you have to have the ingredients you can order the food from here you can sign up for a delivery i've never done that so i don't know how often they will deliver the groceries to you or you could just straight out and buy them this is not a delivery once you buy these ingredients they will pop up straight into your refrigerator they do come packed some of them you have to unpack for your recipes and some of them you don't but you just slide those in your refrigerator. It will register over there. So after you get your groceries, you go grocery shopping, you come back and you're going to cl click on that brown grocery bag and you're going to go to meals. Y'all watch how much stuff pops up when I click on this meal option, the cook option. Click it, girl. Click it. Boom. 
gourmet meals, lunch box, ingredients, grilled foods, drinks, bake, anime food, instant food, desserts, and meals. So today, we're going to make you some things that we already have the um, the ingredients for. So we're going to make these shrimp spring rolls right here. And Daya is going to go into the refrigerator and make those spring rolls. I love Oni because I have always wanted to go to like um, Korea and go to the gas station and eat the instant food or the instant ramen or the onigiri. So I get to live vicariously through my Sims eating food like this when I don't have the opportunity to eat it. Look at that. Look at the spring rolls. Just so y'all get another meal, uh, not another meal, another feel for what we got going on. She's going to cook the sashimi right here. We're only able to make a single serving, but I'm still going to make it for y'all so y'all can see what it looks like. Let's get a close up. Don't do them like that. Oh, we didn't even close up. <laughs> oh, see, here we are in the lunchbox menu. Um, I think this is cute because, again, packing lunch for the kids. This is the little Totoro lunchbox right here. You pack it into a sack lunch, and of course, it appears in the Sims Brown paper bag. But when they unpack it in, at school, it will look just like that lunchbox right there. So all they have to do is unpack that sack lunch at school, enjoy it. And this is really cool for high school years as well. So I really do enjoy that. Like, look at that. It's so freaking cute. The details that the, the CC creators put into their content, we would not have anything without them. They really do make the vibe of the game better and they 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 help you enjoy it more i really wish the sims will reach out to some of these cc creators and let them come help them out because they see what they can do on their own so just imagine how crazy the next sims game will be if they put some of these sims content the custom content creators on their team i know they're getting into it but like i mean like the food the clothes the hair all of that it would really be crazy but on that note, I do want to say thank you to everyone for tuning in for this mod review. Hopefully, y'all found some mods that are helpful for y'all that y'all don't have into y'all game. So y'all can go support these, these creators. It took me a long time to make this video. I'm still getting used to everything. So thank you again for tuning in, giving me some of the time out of your day. Like, comment, and subscribe. Constructive criticism down below, especially if you have a Boo Yeti mic because your girl is struggling with the settings. I have watched YouTube videos and everything. Stay tuned for a new episode of Through Thick and Thin. And a heads up, stay tuned for the new LP that is starting. Thank you so much, and y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, my loves. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry.